Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe file. We are jumping in again and I think I want to do a little bit of, um, where is he? I think I want to do Greedy Emerd on Tainted Apollyon. I realised I played this guy recently and we had a blast as him. But there's an unlock for um, the Repentance Plus mod that I've been negating and not really doing for ages. Um, that I think it's worth doing. Basically, it unlocks ourselves these spiked rocks, I think, or at least it should. Um, and yeah, we kind of been like not using them, uh, like not going for it. I, I heard a, a dime drop there. Um, okay, yeah. summon a protective ring of glass shards that can block any projectiles while breaking. Shards deal slow damage over time to monsters that contact them, and apply bleed if the shard is broken whilst in contact with a monster. I mean, it's f it's free, so I guess once we get five cent, we'll uh, we'll crack that bad boy open. Um. But yeah, so I, I, I've not unlocked those for a while. And honestly, I should have unlocked them a really long time ago because they're really valuable and I just haven't got round to it. So we're going to try and do that today. I think I did say I was going to play um, as the deleted in this episode, but I remembered this and it's it's something important. And I know we played as this guy recently, but still, I like it when there's fires and corners like that because sometimes a wave will just spawn the enemies directly on top of the fires. Either way, for the question of the day today, what would your what what, what would your ideal breakfast be? Because I've just had a breakfast wrap and it was absolutely divine. So I'm very very pleased at the moment. I've been playing uh, Diablo Four again recently. Uh, they they just updated to the season two update, um, and I really liked the game when it first came out in terms of, like just playing through the story. But like the end game kind of fell off a little bit compared to what the other Diablos offered. But um, this season two really seems to have done a really good job of um, reinvigorating the game a good bit. I still don't think it's perfect. It still needs some work. But for anyone that like played Diablo three, um, that game was kind of hot garbage when it first came out. It was fun, but there was a lot of issues. And it it's very much seeming like Diablo four is going the same way, where like as the seasons progress, the game's gonna progressively get better and better to the point where um, it kind of reaches the same same level as what Diablo three was at. But probably even a bit better than that, because Diablo 3 definitely wasn't without its problems. If for, for, for those of you that don't know, by the way, Diablo 3 is one of my most played games ever. Like, it's only just recently been surpassed by Isaac. I have, like, 1,800 hours in Isaac. I had, like, 1,600 hours in Diablo 3. Um, I played the ever-living crap out of that game. Uh, so, first of all, let's buy a key and grab this and this. Um, GMO corn, I'm just gonna buy. Cool, I got a health up in there and a balls of steel. Okay, pretty good stuff there. Pretty good stuff. Obviously, I didn't get a key there, but we'll we'll get one eventually. So, uh, oh, that does not work the way that I thought it would. But that's actually not bad. I thought it would be like shards would, would be like surrounding me. How do I get him to like land on this? But th this might actually not be too bad because I can just kind of place these spikes everywhere. Um, yeah, and I can just apply bleeding and stuff to, like, every enemy. I mean, it makes a bit of a horrible noise, I'm gonna be honest. Ah, oh, bugger. That was kind of hard to avoid, though, to be honest. It does seem to have applied a constant bleed to him as well. Unfortunately, you never got bled. But this seems like it could be a pretty good active, regardless of the uh, really annoying sound we're going to have to constantly listen to. People don't think about that when they make actives or like, items. Like, they'll put like a sound effect that's pretty unique and cool, and you've got to remember that people are going to be listening to that for the rest of the entire run. You've got to make it somewhat appealing to listen to, otherwise uh, it's going to get real annoying real fast. Um, bravery, I'm going to gonna just take bravery. Um... And we'll hold off on anything else now. Uh, do I want to go devil deal here? Okay, so unfortunately this guy flies, so we're not going to get much out of him. But yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to end up using my uh, abyss here, because I'm going to need a certain amount of items to make sure I can get this done. Um, but I'll, I'll take him where I can. I'll take him where I can. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Good, good. Uh, I think I'll take Angel Deal here. It's just a little bit safer, isn't it? Um, and we'll we'll head our way down. Feeling reasonably good so far, though, about how this all went. Um, and we get a, a decent trinket here that gives us a fire right up. I think I'll take that. Okay. 
Let's keep it moving and grooving. Go on down. Um, we'll see what our key costs. Unfortunately, it is just five. But a key for a double key is a deal that I am very okay with. Thank you. Um, and we'll see what we've got going on in here. So I saw three eyeball locusts. I think I definitely want to take the eyeball locusts here. I think they're more valuable. Um, and then Sty, I think, is one that we'll just take. Okay, I think I'm reasonably happy. I think I'm reasonably happy. But yeah, we're going to be placing these things, like, literally goddamn everywhere. I don't know how valuable they're going to be to have everywhere. But we're going to be placing them everywhere. Yeah, like I said, this 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 glass shard smashing sound effect is going to be pretty commonplace for us at this point. We're going to be hearing that for the rest of the run quite a lot. But I think it's pretty valuable. Like, we, we, we've got sort of these traps set up everywhere. I, I'll be honest, in terms of, like, thematic and, like, fitting of this item, it seems really weird. Like, this seems like a really strange item. I don't know if there's, like, a specific reason or reference that this item exists, but... It is a bit odd, but I don't know. There's room for there's room for oddball items here and there. Certainly not completely opposed to it. Yeah, it, I mean it's it's actually really good to be honest. Like it's one of those items that regularly probably isn't that good, but in um, in greedier when when we can just stack them up, it's actually kind of insane. It's like when we had that melatonin. It's it just it just works so much better on. Um, Rooms like this. I don't want to leave the rooms while I've got these going on. Did it hurt a flying enemy there? Okay, it can hit flying enemies. Intriguing to know that. And we got ourselves our angel deal here, which obviously we're going to take Sacred Heart. Pretty awesome. Uh, okay, we got some good stuff going on here. Item-wise, nothing great. I'm going to do some re-rolling here and see if we can get something good. Um, yeah, I'll just take that. And we will head down to the next floor, feeling pretty darn spicy about said run thus far. Okay, this is this is a pretty good run. I reckon we've got a win on on our uh, on our hands here, but I don't want to speak too soon. Um, unfortunately, that's terrible. Barris up, I'll take because it's fire rate. I guess this will just abyss. It did give us one. Apparently, the fiend folia ones are only visual. They don't have any specific like unique effects. Um, okay. Keep re-rolling here. We got blue cap. I'll probably take blue cap as well here. But yeah, this is, this is going to be pretty good stuff. I see you there, fell. I see you. Hehehe, <laughs> look at that. The smashing sound. It goes hard. <laughs> like I said, we're going to be hearing that a lot today. Okay. I, I mainly want to build them up to get as many as I can before the boss comes in more than anything. want to make sure I can absolutely annihilate whatever boss we get. Ooh, Blackheart there. Lovely. You gotta remember as well we've got bravery for the extra boss damage. So bosses are just gonna get absolutely annihilated right now. Okay, you can chuck out your little fellas. Uh, if if you were to do it a little bit quicker, that would be most agreeable. <laughs> My god. Okay, come on, dude. They're taking the piece a little bit now. We got all these sacrificial bloods. Just take them all and then uh, get them going. Oh my god, that was an absolute year of an explosive shot there. Did you see that? Another angel deal, lovely. Um, and here, four white mini Isaacs with a light blue glow. Um, a tan locust with an aura, greatly decreased speed, greatly increased tick rate, and three times damage. That sounds awesome. I think that's the one I actually got. I, honestly, I don't actually think I got the right one there. I don't seem to have one with greatly reduced speed. Right, one second. Um... 
I don't even have to spawn pedestals. One second, let me... Let me rewind. Okay, that doesn't work either. Ah, oh, bollocks. Game, uh, how do I spawn an actual pedestal? Hmm, one second. Okay, I figured it out. Now we can do this. Yeah, there you go. That's actually worked now. I don't know why that didn't actually work the way I wanted it to last time, but at least we got it sorted. Um, and I'll buy this bad boy for even more fire rate increase and even more HP, and we'll go. Yeah, a little annoying that it didn't actually, like, take priority of the one that I was looking at, but... I don't know. We fixed it. It's fine. We got it sorted, but this is a pretty fun run. Also, the monstrance, um, locust there is, is kind of crazy. I didn't expect it to be quite so good. Um... I do want car battery, yes. Uh, one moment. Apologies about that. A phone call came in. Right, let's actually see what we've got going on in here. Bota, um, high chance of inflict slowness. I'm gonna thingy that. Uh, and I'm, do you know what? I'm gonna leave both of those. I'm gonna leave both of those. But yeah, having our slow locust here doing his thing, I like it. Should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. I'm going to have to stop this halfway through to make sure I got my charges right. Like, let's stop this now so that I can go in here and suck this up. Just so that I can do both of them. Obviously, it means my, my red thingy is going to disappear, but that's fine. We can build more. We've got plenty of waves to work with. Don't use all of my, my red. This is, this is, I'm laying these down for the bosses. Oh my god. Yeah, getting getting Sacred Heart in this in this mess is just cherry on top, isn't it? Just an addition to an already pretty beautiful run. I do like the fact that our trinket is making it slightly hard to hit enemies, but it's giving us a fire rate boost, and you kind of need that with um Sacred Heart, so I will take it. Cool. Bosses are decimated. Oh, this guy's gonna get wrecked. <laughs> He just stood on top of all of those spikes. It's weird how sometimes it doesn't shatter. I don't know what the, uh, what the sort of way of it shattering versus it not shattering is, I'll be honest. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Right. Angel deal again, hopefully. Yeah, baby. Um, and we got Prism for Rainbow Locusts. Uh, I'll actually just take Prism as it is. I think Prism could be really good for us, especially with our constantly moving thingy. Um, tears. We'll grab that as well for extra damage there. And we'll keep on going with these. Was there anything in here we wanted? Uh, let, let's take car battery. I don't actually know if it'll work the way I want it to, but we'll, we'll, we'll grab it nonetheless. And yeah, I gotta say, you can see with our tears moving in this crazy pattern, um, that they basically constantly pass through the, um, through the prism. Is this our last item room? I think it is. Right, let's, anyways, let's grab it. Um, water bottle we don't really need to go for. Not really got anything here that's that worthwhile, so let's, uh... Holy fire, go away, piss off. Um, let's keep rolling this. In fact, you piss off as well. Why is there so much things here to piss me off? Okay. Not a lot of good stuff here. We can take the ca uh, capture machine, um, if we want to try and get some, like, health increases, tier increases, stuff like that. But it's not the best use of our money, really. Okay. I'm trying to place as many as I can up top here because um, up top here is basically going to be the best place for us to kill a boss pretty much instantly. It's regularly where they spawn at least. So I'm just kind of creating this absolute mess. And if not, I can kind of drag the boss towards this. I did just get a sun card, which is really good for the boss. We can hold that for our greed boy. So uh, if things go really awry, which I don't imagine they will, but if they do, we've got a pretty good backup plan. There was a heal up. This is why I wanted all these red hearts. Stuff like this. But yeah, this has just been an absolute breeze, this has. An absolute breeze. Righty her. And you taken care of as well. Yeah, that was very easy. And oh look, it's it's good old quad crampers. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even see you down here. Hello. The darkest one. Another angel deal, perhaps? Hell yes. Did you get Black Moon as well? Black Moon's pretty good, and more healing's really nice. Um, 
Sorry, that was a really big sneeze I had there. Uh, I guess I'll just buy this. I just gave us luck upgrades. Not, not very good. <laughs> not very good at all. Sad onion, um, I'm going to take. Yes, and raw liver, I'm just going to suck up, I think. I don't need the health, the damage is a bit more valuable here. Cool, let's carry on to the next floor, and I think this is our last floor before the boss. This has been a very fast run. I do apologise when these greed mode runs are, uh, <laughs> are this speedy. Sometimes it happens like that, though, doesn't it? Sometimes it is just like that. I, I do love Black Moon. Black, Black Moon, what it kind of reminds me of is, it's kind of as if, like, the Black Powder item was on kill rather than, like, on you drawing the circle. That's kind of what I think of it as. Okay. My, my, is my active item making a different noise now? Is that just me? Sounds like it's making the, like, dad's key noise. Was it always making that noise? Maybe. We got perfection here. Wow, okay. This has been a good run. Easy. Another easy boss. Oh, dude. Extra coinage as well. Why not? Why not? Oh, there's three of these dudes. Okay. I mean, not that it's a problem for us at all. <laughs> Not that it's a problem for us at all, but I wasn't expecting three. This is a pretty beautiful run. I'm not going to take perfection, just because I don't really see the need. We don't have any luck-based effects, really, and um, it's not going to be better than the tears up we're getting from this. And to be honest, not even just the tears up, the ability to pass through our, um, our prism more readily is really nice. Our first devil deal, rather than an angel deal, sad. Uh, and both of them are kind of crap anyways. Okay. No need to worry. Right. Let's check our shop out. Um, I think we're just going to take that. That's pretty useful. Um, and I guess we'll just reroll in case we get a half price item, I guess. Or a trinket that's really good. Not looking likely. Not looking likely. Let's just buy another soul heart. And be on our way. God damn, we got here in less than 20 minutes. This is kind of nuts. Right. Down we go. Of course, our active isn't going to be of much use here. We're not really going to be able to spread down the uh, the shards as we did um, in all of the floors. But not particularly terrible. So much extra money that I don't need. And then, yeah, we've got our sun card and we need it. Wow. That was an instant hit. of Ex Boy. Could you chill out? <laughs> Just instantly hit me twice upon starting the rune. That's not how uh, that's not how I like to do it. At least we do have the silver flesh now, though, for gaining extra half soul hearts here and there. Do like that. Basically, if we if we get the key thing, we might as well let him spawn um, all the uh, all the minions because we can just get a bunch of extra HP off of them potentially. Like these keys. Let's just just let the keys roll. Because if you even get one half soul heart out of this, it's going to be pretty valuable. There you go, look. There's a half soul heart already. Be beautiful. And kind of as well, like, while we're killing everything, there's just so many tears going around that we're passively hitting this guy too. Ooh. Yes, lad. Yes. Stay the hell away. Gotta come crush this dude up. Ooh, I really like the the visuals on the uh, the black moon tears plus the silver flesh tears. They look really nice. Yeah, look, he, we're getting more health than he's going to be able to deal damage to us at this point. I know that there's not as many minions in the second phase. Oh, dude, look at that. If that sticks around until... Ah, I guess until he summons his next phase, that'd be ace. But sadly, we did not get to be so lucky. Now, this phase obviously just hits me a lot more often, but... It's got significantly less health, and remember we've got bravery in the mix as well for that extra um, extra damage against bosses, so realistically, we should be absolutely fine. I don't know if these guys can trigger Silver Flesh. Didn't really think about that. The the extra bombs and stuff, because I don't think they count as enemies, so I don't think they can. I don't know how that didn't hit me. 
Okay, that one did. Oh, it can. These do work with solar. Uh... Oh, dude. Okay, that was a, a good combo of hits you got on me there. Too many lasers for me, good sir. Too many lasers for me. We're almost done. Oh, bloody hell. Alright, there you go. We got it. Let's see if we unlock what I wanted to unlock here. Very, very quick run, I realise. Um, tower, Red Pure. I didn't see it pop up, unfortunately. So we'll we'll find out when we come to do our other runs, I guess. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this, regardless of it being a very short run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.